my May empties are here and this month I have used up another month's worth of Roaccutane. I am now on 30 milligrams, which is 20 milligrams and 10 milligram two separate tablets rather than one because they don't come in 30s. I'm going to um, do a video this week of how month two has gone on my Roaccutane, so if you're interested then have a watch of that, I won't bore anyone that's not interested in this video. So because I'm on Roaccutane, my lips are really really dry, so I've got through three different lip balms. My favourite is Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm for Lips. It's quite expensive, it's about 12, 13, 14 pounds, you can get it from Space NK. Um, it started off as a nipple balm, but it's become like a cult lip product. You can use it on your cracked knuckles, on flaky skin, on anything basically, but it's really, really moisturising. Um, it's a little bit like 8 hour cream by Elizabeth Arden, I think, but I really like it. I've been putting it on at night before I go to bed and in the morning my lips just feel so smooth. I haven't been using it so much during the day because I didn't want to run out of it really soon. Um, I have done a full review of this on my blog. Um, in December I did make up for Britain Island's Next Top Model, the live shows, and we were doing like a show on the hour every hour with the girls for like four or five days so their lips were getting really sore and I had this with me and a few of them kept coming to me to for it because it was really helping their lips so much and I kind of wish I hadn't taken it because then there would have been more for me but I think I will have to get my hands on another one of these because this is a must have for dry lips. Coming second behind it is Carmex and I do like Carmex, it is cheap, I love the smell of it although someone told me this week that it has camphor in it which I knew but apparently camphor is bad to put on your lips because it makes your lips addicted to camphor so you just keep on needing more and more. But I know that my lips need moisturiser moisturising at the moment anyway, and this is doing a good job of moisturising them. I don't think I've ever actually used up a whole tub of Carmex before, but I have this time. I normally end up losing it halfway through. Um, I bought one like this and one in a squeezy and one in a stick, and I actually like this one because I need to put lip balm on all the time. Like literally, if I go out and I don't have a lip balm with me, I have to go and get one because my lips get really really sore really quickly unless they have some kind of moisturising thing on them um, and so sometimes you know like my foundation can come away at the edges of my lips or I end up just greasy everywhere but with this I've been able to use a lip brush with it which has been really nice and kind of just put the lip balm where I need it so that's been good and then the last one that I've used up is this Maybelline Baby Lips it's not out in England yet as far as I know um, it's out in America and Asia. This is an Asian one, and the smell, the smell, the flavour is menthol, which is quite a weird smell <laughs> flavour when you're putting on your lips because it's like Vicks. Um, I wasn't overly keen on it. I'd be interested to try some other flavours. I hope that it will be coming to England soon, and I'd like to try the more fruity or you know bubblegummy kind of ones if they have any. Um, it was moisturising, but it's more of like a greasy feeling than a sinking in feeling like it feels like it sits on the top of your lips a bit more um but nice and i look forward to them coming to england um while i'm talking about dry skin another product that's been good is this elemis skin nourishing milk bath and it says on here for maximum benefit use every other day over nine days shake well and add 80 mils while running the bath so this is 400 mils in here so 80 mils is like this every day which seems so much to put in the bath every other day rather. Um, it does seem a lot but it's really really moisturising and I think if you did use it like that it, your skin would be amazing. I don't really have the time to have a bath every other day, it's normally a quick shower. Um, so I was using this as a moisturiser and it was really nice, it's not greasy, it's got a really delicate nice soft smell, leaves your skin feeling gorgeous, it is quite expensive but if you have dry skin and want a little bit of luxury then I would really recommend it. Um, also in the bathroom is this Trevor Sorby Beautiful Curls Curl Defining Shampoo and Conditioner. It's the first time I tried any of this Trevor Sorby hair care range and I really liked it. It smelled kind of fruity, um, floral, delicate, really clean smelling. My hair didn't feel, like it, didn't feel like it was built up at all. It didn't need any more washing or less washing or, you know, it was just really nice. Um, I do have naturally wavy hair so I thought I would embrace that and this definitely helped to define the waves in my hair. Um, I also felt that when I straightened my hair after I've been using these, my style kind of held for longer 
and I don't think they're that expensive either if I remember rightly and I would definitely be interested in trying more from the Trevor Sorby hair care range. There is a whole blog post about these on my blog as well. Also in the bathroom is um, Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief Toothpaste and I wouldn't normally talk about toothpaste but this is amazing if you have sensitive teeth you have to try it. There is a full blog post about this, not about this but about an event I went to for this uh, where basically a handful of us were invited down and we had a meal cooked for us by a molecular chef and he cooked meals that were, would normally play havoc with your teeth if you have sensitive teeth so like something cooked in ni liquid nitrogen which is freezing freezing cold uh, with something boiling hot which normally would send my teeth absolutely crazy and um, when, before we started the meal they gave us a glass of ice cold water we had to drink it, feel which teeth felt sensitive and then we had to take some of this, rub it onto those teeth for one minute and try the ice cold water again and my teeth were absolutely fine and then for the rest of the meal which was a four course meal I think um, my teeth didn't hurt at all, it was amazing so if you have sensitive teeth please check this out not expensive again and I think they do different ones like whitening and you know different kinds of ones but this is just the general sensitive pro relief wow the sun's come out I think this is playing havoc am I saying playing havoc quite a lot but I think this is playing havoc with the colouring but bear with it um, another thing which is featured in <laughs> one moment please um, uh, another thing that's featured quite regularly in my empties videos is um, Simple Kind to Eyes Eye Makeup Remover. I use it all the time, love it, it is cheap, it is kind to my eyes, um, it doesn't irritate them at all, it gets rid of everything on my eyes, although recently I have started using um, Clinique's eye makeup remover and it's oil based and that really does get anything off without any kind of effort at all, whereas with this you need a little bit more effort but that's purely because one is oil based and this one isn't but I think I prefer generally on a day to day basis non oil based so this gets a big thumbs up from me and then on to makeup I somehow seem to have got through two of these Barry M Intense Black Eyeliner Pens I love them, I think one featured in my last empties video or perhaps the one before but I bought two when I last ran out because I loved it and you don't see it on all the Barry M stands um, but I've got through both of them. It's cheap, it lasts long, and once it's on your eyes, it's very black, it's really easy to apply. Um, I would definitely keep get another one of these, but every time I've looked for it since, I haven't found it, so I'm a little bit scared. But it's been quite a nice that I haven't had it because I've been experimenting with other things rather than the same old routine that I was in using these. It's um, like a crayon twist pen. Um, it's not greasy, it doesn't drag your eyes, really really like it, recommend that. And then another thing which is featured, featured in another of my empty videos before is Max Stereo Rose Mineralized Skin Finish. This came out as part of a limited edition collection a few years ago and also at the end of last year I think. Um, this is actually the fourth one that I, I have used up. I bought one or two in when it first came out, I think it was part of the In The Groove collection um, and loved it and then I ended up buying, no I bought one there, I've ended up buying two since from um, blog sales or you know I just happened to find people that had bought it and didn't like it and then I bought two when it came out again at the end of last year and this is the first one from the end, from my, you know what I mean, I've still got one left so I'm just really scared and hope I can get hold of another one when that one runs out talking really fast tonight, that's because I'm in a rush um, yeah I do dip in and out with other blushes but that is the one generally that I wear every day um, everyone seems to love it, I'm wearing it tonight uh, it's got a gentle like coral sheen, it gives a natural highlight to the face as well, I really like it um, the next thing is this Enhance Sunbeam Bronzer and Brush from Make Believe I got this in one of the beauty boxes last year, I was a little bit sceptical at first but I really really like it, I have another one which has just come in a birch box and it's just a matte bronzer, the only thing I don't like is that it comes in this massive box which makes it really really chunky for trying to put in a makeup bag to take it out with you and it's because it comes with this brush, I've only really used this brush for emergency situations I like to use the brush that I like to use but I really really like this product and I would love it if this came as a separate little thing rather than this huge thing although this has got a mirror on it so that is a bonus and then the last thing is this sheer coverage mineral foundation the colour is buff 
I used to wear this all the time before my skin went bad and um, the only reason I stopped using it is because my skin went bad. It was oily, it was dry, like the dry bits picked up like the powder, the shine, the oily bits got really, really shiny. But now my skin is getting better from the Rakutane, I thought I would try this again and it was really, really nice natural finish. Um, at the time when I used to use it, you had to um, go through the TV and you, it was like kind of, uh, you know, like a shopping channel. And um, the advert had a woman who had really bad scarring on her face and she used this and it was completely covered up. And it's amazing how much coverage you can get from something that looks so natural and delicate on the skin. Hopefully, I think you may be able to buy it non from the TV because at the time you had to like join the club and so they'd just automatically send it to you every six weeks by direct debit or something like that. But I know that you can get hold of it on eBay. Um, I think you can get little like sample tests of things, but really, really like this. If you like mineral foundation, then you should check it out. And that is the month of May. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.